Hello and welcome back to SF, a Giants recap, and in today's game it was the Giants versus the Diamondbacks, and so if you end up enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe, and today's game was way better because there was not as much torture as yesterday's game, it was 7-2, to two, and so let's go over the scoring, and so in the bottom of the first, Brandon Crawford doubled to make it one nothing Giants, but then in the top of the second, David Peralta grounded out to get an RBI ground out. But then in the bottom of the seventh, Kevin Gosman got a single to make it 2-1. to one. And then in the bottom of the third, Buster Posey hit his 15th home run. And he's been on fire. His batting average is like 337 or something around there. And then in the top of the fourth, Dalton Varsha single to make it 3-2. to two. But then the Giants ran away at the game. Lamont Wade homered his 14th of the year and made it 5-2, and then Brandon Crawford homered to make it 6-2, and then Alex Dickerson homered to make it 7-2. So there's a lot of home runs. It was a great game. Kevin Gosman did not look fully into it pitching-wise. He kind of struggled. He went five innings, four hits, two runs, uh, five strikeouts. He had four walks that was the main problem to me. Like, yes, he only allowed two runs, but in the grand scheme of things, he has to cut down on the walks, and his pitch count is really high because he only went five innings. But the bullpen did as they always do, shut down. They Jose Alvarez came in with for one inning, shut it down. Dominic Leon came in one inning, shut it down. Tony Watson shut it down. Harlan Garcia got, well, it would have been a save, but it's not a save situation, obviously. So he closed out the game, and so that was great to see. Harlan Garcia bounced back. His ERA went down, and he got two strikeouts, and one of them was Cattell Marte, one of the better players in the MLB. And so that was really good to see him pitching well. And Tony Watson, our pickup, he, his ERA was like at four, and now he's kind of brought it down, and he's been pitching phenomenal for the Giants. And so if these pitchers can just keep doing it for us, this is going to be a great bullpen. This bullpen has been lights out as of late, so... Hopefully they can keep it like that, and the Giants got their 73rd win of the season. Some people were predicting we only get 72 in the whole season. Now we're to 73, and it's not even the middle of August. And so the Dodgers, unfortunately, did win 8-2 to today. Uh, the Padres, luckily, did lose 7 to nothing. so that's great to see. We are eight games ahead of the, I mean the Padres, and we are 38 games ahead of the uh, the Diamondbacks, and so that's good to see. <laughs> like, I feel bad for this Diamondbacks team, but they are terrible. They just, they don't perform well as a team, and they just, yeah, they're not, they're not a good team at all. And so we'll go on to play the Rockies tomorrow. We have Logan Webb on the mound versus Herman Marquez, so that'll be a good pitching matchup, especially since it's in San Francisco. And so hopefully Logan Webb can be on his A game. Unfortunately, Johnny Cueto did go on the I.L., so that's not fun to see, but hopefully he'll be back soon, and we are getting Anthony Discapani back, I think, August 13th, and so that's pretty soon, and so that's good to see. And then Kevin Gosman, he pitched well tonight. Hopefully he can just get back to his Cy Young caliber self, but other than that, the Giants have been playing really well. Lamont Wade came back with his home run, and overall the Giants, this Giants team is watch out because they, one person will show up every game, and that's how you're going to lose because everyone like will show up each game. Chris Bryant did decent today, but he left three people on base, got a hit and a run, and so that's good to see. But um, Brandon Crawford today, I would say he's my player of the game with three hits, one run, two RBIs, and so that'll be my player of the game today. And, yeah, if you enjoy these Giants recaps after every Giants video, a Giants game, make sure to subscribe and like. And so that'll do it for today's video. It was a great win by the Giants. Not much to be said except for we got to go out and just keep winning these must-win games because I think, in my opinion, the games that matter most are the games against these bad teams because they're just giving you free wins. So we'll see what happens. So I'll see you next time.